Some might argue the PSP is the Sega Game Gear of its time. I mean, competing against Nintendo and losing. But of course, the rise of smartphones also has something to do with it. Damn you, Candy Crush! But with 80 million copies sold, you can't call the PSP a failure. Sony stopped the production of the PSP in 2014, and now on the 31st of March 2016, Sony will no longer sell PSP games in the PlayStation Store. This is the end of the PSP, and I'm going to tell you which PSP games you definitely should get before the store closes. My name is Robert, you're watching Hot Coffee. I have compiled a list of 18 PSP games that I think are awesome and very unique for the PSP. We start this list with Petapon. This rhythmic tactical game is just awesome. You pick your soldiers and you try to defeat the enemies by hitting the buttons uh, in a certain rhythm in a certain order. The Petapon series has three games in total and the best of it is that the rhythm, it stays with you. Pata, 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 pon. Pata, 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 pon. Pata, 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 pon. And of course, the second game on this list is Loco Roco. The quirkiness of this platformer is unique. It's so happy, it's so beautiful, it's so nicely designed. And it has a unique control scheme because you only use the X button to jump and the L1 and R1 buttons to move your screen and basically move your blob around. But don't get me wrong, Loco Roco is not an easy game. If you're a completionist and you want to 100% every level, then Loco Roco really becomes challenging. Also, this series has three games on the PSP. And guess what? <laughs> Again, with this series, the music, man. The music. Any of the three GTA games for the PSP is an excellent pick to add to your collection. Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories offer a prequel approach to the existing games on the bigger PlayStation platforms. And of course there's GTA Chinatown Wars, which is a PSP port of the original Nintendo DS version. And while we're talking Rockstar, um, just because of all the controversy it caused, you can also add Manhunt 2 to the list. PlayStation has been on the forefront in terms of user-generated content, and one of the main games that pushed this phenomenon was of course Little Big Planet. Creating your own levels, sharing your levels, and playing somebody else's levels was a big part of the fun, and Sony ported this, this system also to the PSP. And of course, when you're talking about platformers, one should not forget about Dexter. It's the one game where Jack and Dexter actually split up, giving the odd soul the spotlight for the first time in his life. This also means that the game relies more on platforming compared with the Jack and Dexter games, which makes it uh, a little bit more approachable and easy to pick up game. For the more relaxing moments, you can fab to... Guys, what the fuck? Who, who changed my script? <sighs> what the fuck? Fapping? Really? God. But okay. But okay, that's our life paradise if you want to take some sneaky snaps of some girls in bikini. I'm a big fan of Valkyria Chronicles, so when Valkyria Chronicles 2 was announced for the PSP, I was excited. Of course, I was a little bit disappointed it was on the PSP, but it's an excellent game. And if you have never played Valkyria Chronicles, please do so. Um, it's an awesome game and get this one for the PSP. Of course, many publishers brought their AAA titles to the PSP. Sony did this with God of War series, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. Both of them are excellent, excellent action games and they fit so well on the PSP. 
The third birthday wasn't well received by critics because it tends to be a little bit repetitive. The game had some camera issues, but overall I think it's a game with amazing visuals, cool gameplay and a tremendous soundtrack. And of course, it's a little bit sex. sex. Jesus guys, seriously, who the fuck did this? Who the fuck been missing with my script? Come on. And the last game on my list is Half Minute Hero. I love the quirkiness of this game, I love the surprising gameplay, uh, the unique 30 second mechanic and its funny take on traditional RPG elements. Without a doubt Half Minute Hero offers a unique gameplay that you can't find anywhere else. There you have it, 18 games that I have played and I think you should play as well. Be fast because the PlayStation Store is closing its PSP section very very soon and if you're too late you can always search them up on eBay and uh, get them for cheap, right? Do you have any suggestions for PSP games I need to pick up before it's too late? Let me know in the comments. My name is Robert, you're watching Hot Coffee and I hope to see you next time.